This conference will now be recorded. All right. So in the last session, we have discussed about how to create a Azure subscription. So I have created one Azure account. Inside that Azure account, I created one Azure subscription as well. So let's say for example, this is my organization. In this organization, I have an email address that is RAM at the rate of e classes batch 48 dot on Microsoft dot Okay, so by using this one, by using this one, we are going to create this Microsoft Azure account. So, under this particular account, under this particular account, we are going to create as many subscriptions. Why we have to create more than one subscription because in one organization there might be several number of uh, several number of departments we have like IT department finance department HR department or other departments so in all these departments whatever the projects we are going to implement let's say for example I'm going to create this subscription subscription for IT department so another subscription I'm going to create it as a free subscription free subscription so this subscription can be used by anyone and uh, similarly I want to create a subscription for finance department and another subscription for another subscription for HR department subscription IT department free subscription finance subscription HR subscription so these are the different kind of subscriptions we have so under each subscription whenever you are going to create any projects you are going to use some services from the Microsoft Azure and you are trying to create a project so whenever you are going to create any service related to any project you need to specify under which subscription you are going to purchase this service then the billing and the charges for the particular subscription will be applicable for the particular service the charges will be applicable from that particular subscription here whatever the free subscription we have if you are going to create a project and under that project I'm going to create as many services we are calling each service is one resource over here so I'm going to specify this particular service I'm going to create by using this subscription or whatever the projects you are going to implement then whatever the services you are going to create so those services I'm going to create by using this one so this is how we are going to make the this is how we are going to make the subscription to be mapped to your resource or service every month the charges for this project whatever the services you are creating will be charged under this particular subscription that might be IT subscription or free subscription whatever the advantage of creating these many subscriptions is from every subscription 
whenever you are going to create the projects at the financial year ending how much amount a particular department spent to implement the projects by using azure the auditing is very easy and managing of the resources also easy so that is the reason these many subscriptions we can able to create here so under one particular subscription you can create as many data source as many resource managers means projects so i'm going to create three projects under this free subscription i'm going to create three projects under this particular subscription over here so creating of a project we are calling it as a resource group manager we are calling it as a resource group manager and the resource group manager you can give anything over here i'm going to give it as a e classes project so under this particular resource group manager i'm going to create different resources like a storage account for storing up the data and sql server and a data factory so these are the three different kind of services and and i need one more sql server two sql servers required one for development another one for the production and the next one is another resource group manager this is e classes project 1 e classes project 2 e classes project 2 and here also i'm going to create data bricks data lake and uh, analysis services so these are the different kind of services available similarly one more resource group manager so under one azure storage account you should have a subscription and then you should have a resource group manager then you, should, you can create the services each service after you are creating we are calling it as a resource over here we are calling it as a resource over here okay so this is the hierarchy under one microsoft azure account can have multiple subscriptions under one particular subscription can have multiple resource group managers under microsoft azure account we have a subscription and under that a resource group managers under that we have a resources okay microsoft azure account a subscription a resource group managers and resources this is the hierarchy whenever you are creating any resource it might be sql server or a storage account whatever it is you need to specify this resource is belongs to which resource group manager resource group manager is nothing but a kind of a project name resource group manager is nothing but a kind of project name and that particular project name we should have a subscription so definitely whenever you are creating any resource whenever you are creating any resource you should specify under which resource group manager under which subscription it is under which resource group manager under which subscription you want to create this one so these two things are the mandatory things if you want to create anything let's say for example i want to create a storage account storage account is one of the service available one of the service available in microsoft azure storage account is 
one of the service available in the Microsoft Azure. So by using this service, what I'm going to do, I want to create a storage account. To create the storage account, you need to specify under which resource group manager you want to create. Okay, let me create a resource group manager e classes project and uh, under which subscription you want to create. Okay, I have a free subscription. I'm going to use this free subscription. Okay, under the free subscription, I'm going to create a e classes project one is my resource group manager and also you need to specify location data center location means whatever the service you are creating microsoft is maintaining the data centers in the back end if you remember when you are going to connect any services microsoft is having some data centers in the back end the storage account means it needs some physical storage whatever the data you are uploading into your cloud system that needs to be stored somewhere in a physical data center right? so which data center you want to use to uh, create and run this service that is location also you need to specify then after name of the service what name you want to give for this storage account i want to give it like e classes storage storage account service name you need to provide over here all right so this is how we are going to make the a service over here any service if you want to create you need to specify the location and uh, resource group manager name and uh, subscription over here okay and subscription resource group manager name and the location the name of the service any question here? Um, so, uh, Ram, uh, this service uh, like becomes under which uh, like infrastructure as a service or um, application as a service platform as a service, right? So, uh, this comes That's under the, which yeah, it depends on mostly mm -hmm. the services what we are using is as a password. Okay. Platform as a service okay mm -hmm. one or two services uh, yes infrastructure as a service most of the services we are using as a platform as a services SaaS we are not using anything okay. the data engineering course related uh, services what we are going to learn Mostly those are yes platform as a service. Okay, so okay. if you want to create one storage account, my requirement is I have so much of the data in my local computer. I have so much of the. Let's say for example, I'm going to design one app, which app, like uh, Aha, Netflix, Amazon Prime. So similar kind of app I'm going to develop. So whatever app will do app has to take a kind of uh, this is uh, user mobiles from their mobiles or devices they will take a subscription and uh, whatever the movies they want to see they can able to browse the movies but where your movies are stored i want to store all my movies in azure storage account inside the azure i want to store but unfortunately all that movies currently in my local computer so i want to move all my movies from local computer to here local computer i have so many movies all the movies i want to store into in the storage account so storage account is one of the service available to store the data over here then your app will connect here. App will connect over. This is a mobile app. Who will develop this mobile app? The app developers, Azure developers. Okay. So you need to create one storage account service 
to store the data over here. Create a storage account to store the data here. Alright. So to create a storage account service inside, first you need to you need to log in. Okay, all right. Now what I'm going to do. Let me log into this Azure storage account. Sorry, Azure account. Microsoft Azure. Did anybody created a storage account? Uh, no, no, we created that uh, free subscription. Yeah, that free subscription only. Anyone created? Can you can you please bring your the username and password in the GoToMeeting chat privately? Yeah, sure. Right. So let me log into this account. We have to go to azure.com. So inside this Azure account, click on uh, sign, in, sign in first. So I'm going to use a different account to sign in. Which account I want to use? Use another account. Provide this account. Click next. And then set some password as well. Click on sign in. Mm, where is the portal? Yeah. See here, earlier it is. There is an option here, portal. But currently, now they have changed here. Azure portal. So if you want to log into the Azure portal, you need to click over here. Inside this portal only, you can able to see all the services. Click on Azure portal. Use the same email address password. Skip for now, 14 days. Just yes. Right. So we are able to log into Azure portal. Or you can directly go to portal.azure.com. There you can type your username, password, whatever the email address and password. And uh, so, first, what you need to verify is see, there is already 14,500 credit remaining because till now he hasn't used anything. First, check how many subscriptions he have for this particular account. Okay. And uh, how much amount of credit he have, all those things. Where you can search for that, go to the search resources and there you can type subscriptions. So simply open these subscriptions. Click on the subscriptions. Under these subscriptions, you can go to the free trial subscription. This is the subscription ID. 
and uh, account admin so what is the cost till now nothing account is active status after 28 days this account will go to the disable mode after one month one month or 28 days or the amount whatever 14500 uh, if you are consuming earlier before 28 days only and then also this account will go to the inactive status okay Okay, right. So what I'm going to do now. <clears throat> the next thing is you need to create a resource that is nothing but a storage account. So simply go to the search. You need to type for the service whatever you required is storage accounts. If you want to create a storage account, what are all the things required? First, you should have a subscription. And then you should have a resource group manager so resource group manager is nothing but a kind of your project name this is going to group all your resources what you are going to create for one particular project over here okay for one particular project you are going to use this one that is resource group managers so simply go over here and uh, first create a resource group manager so how to create a resource group manager anything if you want just type it over here resource groups so simply click on resource groups under that you can able to click on create resource group so this resource group you are going to create under which subscription you want to create so that i am going to create under free trial subscription currently i have only one subscription and what is your resource group manager name the resource group manager name is E classes project one. E classes project one. And what is the location? The location is there are so many data centers available. In which data center you want to use in the back end to store this one? I want to use that East US2 location. Then this is my resource group manager name under this subscription, under this location just review and create it okay we are going to create a free trial e classes project one in this location tax means to identify this resource group easily if you want to give any names over here you can able to give. click on review and create it resource group manager has created then what is the next thing Then you need to create a storage account so simply go over here and uh, search for storage account storage account is one of the service so by using this storage account we are going to click on this storage accounts Okay, so simply click on create. So create storage account is one of the service available inside the Azure. So if you want to create the storage account, so see over here what are all the options you need to fill over here is first you need to specify the subscription. What is the subscription over here? That is a free trial subscription and what is the resource group manager it's a e classes project one 
so the subscription i have specified and uh, resource group manager is e classes project one and uh, already i created a resource group if you remember right if you haven't created any resource group manager if you want to create over here you can able to create this resource group manager as well okay so simply you can click on the create new as well and you can simply come down over here click on the storage account name the storage account name is e classes project okay or else uh, what is the name you want to give e classes memory the storage account name is e classes memory one two three or you can give any other name e classes memory four five six the subscription is a free trial subscription resource group is e classes project one storage account name is e classes memory four by six and what is the region east yes region and uh, there are different kind of performances what do you mean by performance the performance means this is a storage account right the account what you are going to use is a storage account so the data once you are storing that basically in the back end it is going to use some data center servers the data whatever you are storing here then that is going to store somewhere in the data center in east us location data center east us location so this data this data whatever we are using here in east us location generally that is a server means a memory you know in your laptop you have two different kind of memories correct like uh, you have a hard disk so storage account under this storage account we have a any computer any laptop when you are purchasing if you see there are two kind of memories one is hdd and ssd you know ssd memory hdd memory hdd memory means it's normal hard disk space if you see this hard disk you will get more than 500 gb hdd hard disk space you will get nearly more than 500 gb of the space okay then after this hard disk space whatever the 500 gb and ssd memory always very less it might be 100 gb 100 gb so why this is having less less memory and this is having more memory the reason because the ssd memory means solid state drives whatever we are using ssd it is a solid state drives whatever we are using hdd it is a hard disk space hdd stands for hard disk space these are designed by using a magnetic drives hdd stands for magnetic drives hard disk space stands for sorry ssd stands for as designed by using a solid state drives so this memory whatever the ssd memory it has designed by using solid state drives the performance of 
this memory is very faster. If you are trying to read or querying anything, querying performance is very faster. Solid state drives, standard GB, reading or querying performance is very faster. Very faster. Solid state drives means standard GB. This is 500 GB. HDD stands for so magnetic drive, hard disk space, 500 GB. SSD stands for solid state drives, 100 GB of the space. Read or querying performance is very fast over here. And the storage cost is very high. When you are purchasing the laptop, if you are increasing this SSD memory card, cost will be increasing your laptop comparing to this hard disk. If you are increasing this hard disk space, uh, storage, that cost might not change much. So this read or querying performance is read or querying performance is is not much faster. This is not that much faster. HDD stands for magnetic drives. SSD designed by using solid state drives. The storage cost is cheap. Storage cost is less. HDD stands for magnetic drives, hard disk space, SSD stands for solid state drives, 100 GB, here it is a 500 GB. Reading or querying performance is very faster for SSD memory, but storage cost is very high. That is the reason the, in the re recent laptops what we are purchasing, those laptops definitely should have SSD memory. Inside this SSD memory, we are installing the operating system. Every computer has an operating system. At the time of installing the operating system, definitely we are going to maintain the memory for that operating system is SSD memory. The SSD memory what we are going to use here is The SSD memory what we are going to use here is very faster for reading of your operating system boot time. That is the reason when you are opening your laptop, it will come more faster. Earlier days we are using this hard disk memory to store the earlier days we are using the hard disk memory to store this. operating system when you are opening your laptop it will take so much time so based on your requirement in the storage account also you can able to select whether you want standard or premium standard is nothing but HDD SSD stands for premium. Okay, standard HDD, premium SSD. So this is how we can able to do. The performance is determine whether you want to have a premium performance or the standard performance. Generally, we will use the standard performance because we are using the storage account 
like your backup accounts. We are using the storage accounts like a backup accounts. So then after there is an option redundancy. What do you mean by redundancy? The moment when you are storing the data into cloud storage account, in the back end it will store the data in a data center. We selected East US location. Recently, some natural calamities, tsunami, or whatever it is, due to that reason, this data center is completely collapsed. Due to that reason, this data center is completely collapsed. Then, what about your data? The, the whole data what is stored inside the storage account will be completely you will lose right so to avoid this kind of things because microsoft azure has to given a security to your data security in the sense guarantee to your data at any cost at any time your data should be available so for that reason they are making different copies of your data storage one more copy in another data center, one more copy in another data center, whatever it is. They are trying to maintain three copies of your data. The three copies you want to maintain in the same data center, that is called LRS, locally redundant storage. If you are using this LRS, same data center it is going to store. the same data center three copies will be available if something happen you will lose all the three copies right that is not more secure then they are giving other options as well okay do you want to maintain in different geographical locations means one in east us another data center in another location so this is how if you want to use different different things you can able to use Clear? So it is in different geographical location, different data centers. Because the Microsoft has design, uh, divided their uh, data centers, local, different geographical locations, and different zones also. They divided uh, different zones as well. If you want to see their data centers, um, Azure data centers. Yeah. In Asia Pacific. See what are the geographies they have? These are the different kind of geographies. Okay. So currently we selected India. In India they have three data centers in central india south india west india central india means pune south india means chennai west india means mumbai this is the year open okay this is available for all the customers and partners So this is how they have different kind of regions, zones. You can see in the globe here. So based on your security level, 
the cost will be increased whatever the option you are selecting over here based on that the option if you are using ZRS means different zones it will maintain then the cost will be increased but your data view is very secure all right so simply i'm going to use the lrs only locally and storage okay in the real time who will create the services we are azure engineers are we going to create this services creating of a services that generally we are calling it as a provisioning of the services because while you are going to create this provisioning of the services there are multiple factors needs to be considered like uh, it's a big it's not a small thing to create a service there should be a lot of decisions needs to be taken you have to choose in which data center and which subscription you need to use and uh, what is the performance standard or premium because premium performance cost is more standard is less these are all the things and what is the redundancy replication we need to maintain based on that your project cost will vary this is a high level decision your architect will take these decisions based on that mostly 99 percentage as your admins will create we are a developers we are just using whatever the azure admins created this and provisioning of the services Provisioning of the services. Okay, let me create this one. So I have provided all the details subscription, resource group, storage account name, region, performance, redundancy. Okay, so then you can able to create this account. The security and all those things we will discuss after creating of the storage account. So let me click on create. Okay, simply click on create it. Your storage account is creating here. It is submitting to deployment to your data center. Once a storage account has created, based on your requirement, kind of data, you need to use different storage modes there are four different kind of storage modes available there are four different kind of storage modes available one is the blob storage another one is a table storage another one is a file share Another one is a queues blob table file share queues. So these are the four different kind of storage modes we have. Our requirement is I want to store all my movies. Then you need to use blob storage. So based on your requirement inside the storage account, you can able to create any of them. You can create a table storage blob both also you can able to create blob storage multiple blob storages multiple tables multiple file shares 
all those things let me create quickly one blob storage nothing but a container your storage account has completed now we can go to resource go inside the storage account and we have four different kind of storage modes available what are those four different kind of data storages container file share queues tables click on these containers click on this container what is this container name e classes or i'm going to make it as a movies click on create a container is nothing but a kind of a drive or folder in your local computer so go inside this container and you can able to upload all your movies from your local computer browse the movies see do you have any movies go to videos i don't have any movies okay so let me uh, take the, some files instead of movies i'll try to upload some files emp files all these three files i want to upload okay at the time you are uploading these files if you want to create a folder inside so these files i'm going to upload into a folder emp folder then upload so a drive a movies drive inside this drive a folder emp folder i created inside this folder we have uploaded some files so let me elaborate more on this storage modes tomorrow storage modes security all those things we will discuss any questions so far what is a resource group and what is a resource group manager so resource group manager and the resource what i created in different locations that means generally resource group manager is going to store all your resources information for example i created one resource group manager and i created one storage account but this is going to use a data center of east us which one my resource group manager and i created another i created this resource group resource storage account in the east us2 location but better you can maintain in the same location but by mistake i created in the east us2 what is the difference your resource group manager will hold all your information about your resource groups oh, sorry resources resource group manager is grouping of all the resources what you are going to create for your project that information the metadata information just storing inside east us region that's all but storage account whatever the data you are storing will store inside this location ideally better to create in the same same region but i created in the different region no worries any other questions from anyone once we created that uh, storage account do we need to remove that you have mentioned like uh, we need to remove the accounts like what are the services you have practice that is your account when you after the month is completed you don't need to go to this storage account if you are removing your uh, resource group manager if you are removing this resource group manager automatically whatever the resources you created under that all will be deleted automatically so how to delete this resource group manager so simply go to your resource groups and click on the resource group e classes project one 
under that how many resources you have only one resource we have only one resource we have where is that yeah e classes memory four five six okay so i similarly you might have so many i don't want to go individual and delete simply delete this resource group click on delete resource group and type your resource group name e classes project one that's what your resource group manager name e classes project one then click on delete then all resources will be deleted from that resource group so once your practice completed this is how you need to remove all then your amount will not be debited even after upgrading also better you can do like this Rao, once we created this uh, project resource group uh, so uh, is it going to remove everything like whatever the storage accounts you have created everything so all comes okay whatever the services you are going to create might be you are creating a data factory might be you are creating a data bricks generally what we are doing at the time of creating we are going to specify under which resource group you are going to create these things a subscription and resource group we are specifying then if you are deleting this one all will be deleted Okay. All right, guess we'll meet tomorrow and we'll continue about this one.